stars they wept The morning sun was dead The savior of the world was fallen His body on the cross His blood poured out for us The weight of every curse upon him Son of God was laid in darkness The battle in the grave The war on death was waged The power of hell forever broken The ground began to shake The stone was rolled away His perfect love could not Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray together. Gracious Lord, in this week, we celebrated your reforming presence in the Reformation. We touched 
on the eve of all saints. All the, the darkness and the death and all the festivities with Halloween. We woke up among the faithful, collected and called to be saints on the All Saints Day. We praise you, Lord, tonight as we look forward to tomorrow, which will be All Saints Sunday. Make us members of your body faithful. Make us your saints so as to serve you, to lay down our lives on your behalf, for your glory, for your exaltation. Have us surrender our lives tonight. In Jesus Christ, amen. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me. was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see, t'was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved, how precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. My chains are gone, I've been set free. My God, my Savior, has ransomed. the Lord I'd like to share with you tonight is Psalm 149. It is the second to the last, 
It's in the last group of chapters in the book of Psalms. Psalm 149 is also related to Psalm 96 and 98, for we are singing a new song unto the Lord. Amen? Praise the Lord! Exclamation. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Verse 1. Now, your translation might take the faithful and change it to saints. And I like that very much. So we're singing a new song. Something new is happening here. It's a new creation, a new day. Much like tonight is a new night. We've never experienced it before. God is creating a new all the time. Are you experiencing this? Are you anticipating? Are you expecting God, the one for whom we bow and serve and submit to, that God is calling into creation something new in our lives, not just somewhere else, but right here, right now with us. In the assembly, his praise in the assembly of the saints. Verse 1. Let Israel be glad in its maker. Let the people of God truly find joy in the presence of God. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let us be unashamed and undivided. Verse 2, in proclaiming our devotion and our service to God. Not the God of this side or the God of that side. The God who is coming, creating something new around us and within us, before us and after us. Verse 3, let them praise his name with dancing. So we're singing a new song and we're also animated and dancing in our worship, in our praise, in our submission. The presence of our Lord, our King, our God. Making melody to him with tambourine and lyre. For the Lord, in verse 4, takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the humble with victory. This praising in verse 3. This singing of a new song in verse 1, this using of instruments, it's not for our own pleasure. Look at verse 4 again. The Lord is taking pleasure in us, the saints, the faithful, as we cover ourselves with meekness, with humility. When we say, Lord, we can't do this on our own. We're just praising you for what you are doing. The victory that is ours, was handed to us by your mercy. And we submit to your will. We sacrifice our will to you. Lord, we adore you. We're not making all this music and putting all the details together for worship and praise for our own amusement. We applaud you and the gifts you give to us. Your humble saints, you give those gifts to us. Your works make us faithful. We don't make ourselves faithful. You place your trust in us. You work to make us your saints. You invite us and make us members of your family. What a victory is this. Verse 5. Let the saints, let the faithful exalt in glory. Let them sing for joy on their couches. If you experience the sorrow in life, experience it and know that God is creating something new in the sorrow, in the grieving, in the depression. God is saving. God is creating. God is giving calls to rejoice, yes, even in the midst of the valleys of the shadow of death. Lift us, Lord. Lift us, Lord. We lay our lives 
to your hands, that you may be exalted. And so we're going to sing the glory. We're going to sing the joy from our couches, from private places to public places. Verse 6, let the high praises of God be in their throats and two-edged swords in their hands. The high praises of God be in their throats in all circumstances. When things are tough, when the work is long, how many generations of the faithful of the saints had horrible, God-awful circumstances in which the lot live and die and be tortured, and yet still praise the Lord. And their throat was a bolsterous exaltation of God's glory. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be silenced. This is the glory of the Lord shining through, being carried through in a new creative way with song through the faithful. So now there's this two-edged sword mentioned, and it's in the hands of the faithful. This is at the end of verse 6. We don't know what this two-edged sword is. Is it the word of God? And the word of God cuts internally and externally. Is it that the saints are both in this kingdom and the kingdom of the world and the kingdom of God? It's two-edged. But many, many people have turned Psalm 149 into a bloodbath. Historically, whether it was the 30 years religious war or the peasants war. And seven, eight, and nine were used, have been used, are still being used to attack and brutalize in the name of God. So I pray that as the faithful, as the saints of God, we will be humbled in the Lord's presence and hear these last verses. For we know, God, you're the only one who makes a victory. To execute vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples, to bind their kings with fetters and their nobles with chains of iron. Verse 9, to execute on them the judgment decreed. This is glory for all his faithful ones. Praise the Lord.
will shout your praise Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing Great are you, Lord All the earth will shout your praise Our hearts will cry Gracious Lord, we are surrounded by a community of saints this evening, of all generations, of all nations, and we praise you. That's the last word of that psalm. Praise the Lord. Have us in circumstances that are troubling. Praise you, Lord. Create in those circumstances opportunity, ways. Help us to expect and anticipate your creative presence, to give us voice in glorifying you, exalting you. Right now, Lord, there's someone who's been treated wrong and badly. Breathe into them the spirit of a new song, that they will exalt you in the victory that you hand to them. Lord, especially those who are stricken physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, that are broken in some aspect of their being. And we don't feel whole, but we pray that you would enter in through the saints' lives who are in this kind of situation and that you would make them whole with the victory you produce by your word, by your sword of victory. And give them, create in them something new so that in their throats, in their voices, they can praise your holy name and sing and exalt you with full joy. Lord, we need this kind of deliverance as individuals, as family, as church. We know that church equals the body of Christ. And the body of Christ suffers. The body of Christ is hungry. The body of Christ is also victorious, resurrected, and made new. So we thank you, Lord, for calling us and working to make us members of your body. Help our leaders to be faithful to your call, to your word, to your will. For we know that your kingdom has no end. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
God bless you and keep you. His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Good night.